Hi there, welcome back. You can see I have my new Christmas jumper on and I have my happy mail here that Marna and Darren from Dolls Rescued sent me recently. Today, Rosie's Toy Chest, J Dolls UK and Dolls Rescued are co-hosting a hashtag Dolls Gone Goth Nightmare Doll Challenge. Use the hashtag to find and watch all the other talented creators and collectors joining in today. I want to use this fabric to make some Nightmare Before Christmas clothing for my Blythe dolls to wear. I'm sketching out the designs I have in mind before I get started sewing. I want to make a long dress using the dark purple fabric and white cotton for the undershirt and long gothic sleeves. I'll make a cute skirt from the lighter purple fabric and I'll add some lace and trimmings too. And for the black and white fabric, a short sleeved blouse with some frilly decoration and maybe a cute collar. Something like a gothic Lolita look. Okay, let's get started. I'll show you the making of the dress. Here are my pattern pieces. I've never done this kind of sleeve before, so this just looks like the right kind of shape. I have the white undershirt pieces here and a facing piece for the neckline too. And the dress of the skirt will be this rectangle here. To start, I've hemmed the skirt and run two rows of gathering stitches along the waist. I gathered it tight and pressed it to keep the little wrinkles. For the front bodice, I've sewn in little darts and pressed in the curve for the white bib to show through, then sewn it into place. For the sleeves, I hemmed the long cuffs, gathered the middle section and attached it to the upper sleeves. I have zigzagged pressed and top stitched the join here. Next I'll join the front and back bodice parts at the shoulders and figure out how I want to do the collar. Here we are. I decided to gather lace and tack stitch it in place before laying the facing piece on top which I'll sew around now. Here I've actually sewn round the edges and the neckline of the facing, snipped the corners and curves so it's nice and neat when it's turned round. You can see that better once it's pressed. Now I'll sew the sleeves into place. There we go. Now the bodice is taking shape. Okay. To close it up, I will sew each side closed from the sleeve to the waist. Very nice. I rather like how the sleeves came out. Next, I open out the waistline of the bodice and adjust the skirt to match it, then sew them together. There. Now I'll trim the seam allowance down a little, zigzag stitch it and flip it over to sew a neat line of top stitching here across the waistline. That gives us a nice neat waist and now I just need to close up the back of the dress. I tuck these raw edges in on each side and top stitch them from the top corner to just below the waist join. I then align the lower skirt edges and sew them together like this. You can make a little snip here and here to help get your stitching close to the previous top stitching. This flap can be pressed to the side now. Almost done. I've just sewn a decorative button to the collar and I'm going to try out a new kind of snap fastening I just bought on the back here. 
there. It's a cam snap and is much quicker than hand sewing and it comes in cute colours. Hmm. Here's my finished dress being modelled. What do you think? I think it's super cute. I love the fabric and the sleeves. Now I'll go and make the skirt and blouse and show you how they came out in just a moment. There we go. Aren't they a cute pair with all that purple hair? Craig bought me this awesome little umbrella. I think it kind of goes with this outfit. Well, here's the little blouse and the skirt. I added lace and ribbons and bows to the hem. She's got matching socks on and you can see they have snaps at the back. And her frilly fronted blouse is nicely hemmed at the bottom. I'm so happy with these. Please let me know what you think of them in the comments. Have you joined in with this hashtag too? Join me on Monday for a big Christmas collaboration video. And take care. Bye bye.